Pool safety. 69% of young children who drown in pools were not actually expected to be either in or near pools or any body of water. So I wanted to give you four very simple tips of how to keep your kiddos safe. So first of all, we need to have a barrier of some sort. This is a fence. It's a nice looking fence. You can get a fence to put around your pool, even if it is a, a temporary fence. You can put these things up to keep the children away because these pools, they're exciting. The children want to come towards the pool and you have to understand young children are not going to know the difference. So please get barriers around your pool. Secondly, is you have to designate a water watcher. And what that means is, let's just say you're in a group of parents and a whole bunch of children, you have to have one parent designated as the water watcher where they do not take their eyes off that water. They're sitting there and watching. If they happen to get up and walk away to go to the restroom or go get a drink or go get some food, whatever it may be, they have to then go designate someone else as the water watcher. That has to happen. Number three is there are drains at the bottom of the pool that sometimes children can actually get stuck in. They'll lodge their foot or something in there. And so a simple little Google search will allow you to search for anti-entrapment pool drain covers. So please get one of those if you don't have one. And lastly, if your child is missing and there is water anywhere around you, you have to check the water first. That is the first place you go look because that is a matter of seconds before that child goes unconscious. So please check the water first. That is your pool safety tips for the day. We have to keep our kiddos safe. They rely on us to keep them safe. And we have to live our best life. And this is one of the simple ways to do it. I hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you soon.